Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create single payments in SAP Svana using Fiori. We will create this payment out of an existing supplier line item and I will also show you how to utilize this application over here without having posted any supplier line item in advance. Sounds good? Then let's get started. First of all, before we inspect this application, let's actually create a supplier invoice out of which we will then create the single payment. So we navigate to the application called Create Supplier Invoice. Select this one. So first of all, here in the general information section, we will select invoice for the company code 1010. We will include our gross invoice amount, the invoicing date, as well as the posting date. So the date where our data is actually posted in finance, as well as a reference. Let's scroll down a bit. We will select an invoicing party. As you know, this invoicing party is a business partner. Then we will scroll down a bit more. For now, we will not include here a purchasing document as reference, but we will just post this supply invoice against a GL account. So I will scroll down a bit up until we can see the GL account line item section. Over here, I will click on add and now I will include an expense account. Let's just say leasing expense, that's fine. We will include an amount, 1000 again. And as you can see, we still got some error messages. We can always click here on check to update the messages and see if everything is already filled. As you can see, our debit account requires a valid tax code. I will include a tax code for an input tax and also I will assign a cost center. Okay, let's click on check again. You can see the balance is not zero as of now. We will scroll down to the tax section over here. As you can see, a tax of 190 was calculated. So this means that for the credit side over here, I need to include the 190. So I will increase the gross invoice amount by 190 to 1190. Click on check and you can see the invoice was successfully checked. Let's scroll down a bit here to the payment section. You can see the information was copied from our business partner master data, such as the payment terms, the baseline date for the discount calculation and some more information. For now, we'll leave it free. We could include some unplanned delivery costs, notes or attachments. For now, this is fine. We will click on post. You can see the supplier invoice was generated. We do not want to create a new one, so we'll click on no. Now we are back here in the start screen of the Fiori Launchpad and we will navigate to the application called Manage Supplier Line Items. Here you can see our supplier line item. So we will select this one and then we we'll click here on Create Single Payment. You can see now we are forwarded to the Create Single Payments application and all of the information was filled automatically. So our company code, the supplier, the document and posting date, and if we scroll down, we also got the bank information of our supplier out of the business partner master data and the house bank details. So our paying company code. All of the other fields are grayed out. And if we scroll down a bit, also the item, the total amount and the value date. So the date on which the bank actually carries out the payment order. And as you can see, this is also the only field we could actually fill right now. All the other information was derived by the system and we can't complement the information. Now we can click here on create. You can see that the system warns us that no house bank information was specified as of now, but we can accept this via this button. You can see what now happened. The system automatically scheduled a payment run for the single payment and advises us that we can find the payment run in the Manage Automatic Payments app. If we click on show details, we can see that no house bank was specified, the payment methods were selected from the master data record and no email address was entered in our master record, so a notification won't be possible. What we will do right now is we will copy here the date and also the ID of our payment run that was created. The only thing we can do right now is click here back to supplier line item application and that's basically it. But if we go now to the application called manage automatic payments, insert the identification and then hit on go, we can already see here under payments processed that our system created the payment automatically. So we can actually click on this one and then inspect here the payment in the payment section. Over here you can see that also the house bank was now derived automatically. Okay, so this is the first use case. The second one would be the case where we do not have a supplier invoice and we still want to create a single payment. So we can directly go to the create single payment application. Now insert our company code. You can see data will be refreshed, okay. And the supplier, then we can insert a document and posting date. We can even upload attachments. And then down here, we need to specify the supplier details. So the partner bank, as the supplier has two banks, we will select one of those, 
then the bank account IBAN bank number in Swift is filled automatically. We will provide a tax code, so an input tax. We will calculate the tax in a second. Then we need to specify the house bank from which we are paying. And you can see here the account ID, payment method and bank sub account was derived automatically. We need to specify our payment details, let's say 1000 euro, calculate tax. Then again, we have a devalue date and we could utilize profit center assignment if necessary. We can already see the GL account that will be derived and we could include the payment reason. So this single payment application here, when we utilize it without an open item, then this application will create a down payment request, which is then used to initiate again the payment run. So in the end, this could be used for extraordinary payments in one step without an invoice, or also payments in foreign currencies. Please be aware that tax jurisdiction, which would be used for determining our tax rates in certain countries or regions, so for instance in the USA, is not supported over here with this application. For now, we will click on create. We will get a warning that no notification is possible, but for us this is fine. So we will click on accept and you can see the system again scheduled a payment run. We can click on OK and then we can go to the manage automatic payments application Hit on go. And now we can see here under proposals processed that the system created a proposal out of our single payment application. We can select this proposal. As you can see here, there is an exception as there is a credit balance for this supplier. So meaning that in this case, we would need to solve the error and then we can process also the payment run. Okay, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Also make sure to subscribe to my Patreon, where I have lots of informative blog posts about SAP and where we have a community chat. The link is in the bio of my channel. Thanks a lot and see you next time.